Hello and welcome. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to use do, does, and did correctly. I'll first teach you the basics and then I'll give you some usage tips that will help you to avoid mistakes with these forms. As always, there is a quiz at the end of the video. So let's begin. Before we talk about the uses of do, does, and did, you need to know the basic grammar rule with these forms. The rule is, in the present, if the subject is I, you, we, they, or any plural noun, then we use do. If the subject is he, she, it, or any singular noun, then we use does. This is when we talk about the present. If we're talking only about the past, then it's very easy. For any subject, we use did. All right, let's do a quick test. In the present, what do we use with I, you, we, they, or a plural? We use do. And with he, she, it, or a singular noun, we use does. What about in the past? For any subject, we use did. Okay, let's now talk about the first use of these three forms. This is in making negative sentences. To understand this, let's first take a positive sentence. I like ice cream. What is the verb here? It's like. This is called the main verb because it has the main meaning in the sentence. So let's make this negative. In English, the rule for making negative sentences is that we add not to the helping verb in the sentence. But wait. There's only one verb here, like, which is the main verb. There is no other helping verb. So what do we do now? Well, we add the verb do as a helping verb in the sentence. Then we put not next to it. I do not like ice cream is the negative sentence. In speech, we usually shorten this to don't. I don't like ice cream. Okay, what about this? He plays hockey. 